Alright guys, so I'm sure as you already know, Vitaly was recently arrested for things that I never thought he would do and things that his tens of millions of fans never thought that he would resort to doing. But nonetheless, there are new emerging details and we'll be getting into that on today's episode. So let's smash 300 likes for YouTube's fastest news network and if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at RealGodOfCringe and the fact of the matter is, if you're not subscribed with the bell rung, then you are not up to date. Now let's jump right into it. All right, guys, now just a couple of days ago, I'm sure as you already know, if you saw my previous episode on Vitaly, he was actually in big, big trouble. Arrested after hopping out of a bush or a car. A couple of different sources are saying different things. I believe it's a car as of now because the police reports have in fact been released. And here they are. Okay, I'm sure as you can see, he jumped out of a car and actually attacked a woman, punching her in the face, in the chest, causing her chest pain, and also causing her to need stitches in her face. Now, I'm sure as you already know, Vitaly is a very big, strong man. He could harm anything he really wanted to at his size. He could take on really anyone he wanted to in public at his size. He really brags about it. Some people are saying that he's possibly doing steroid. Also, that can make you really angry at times. Also, some people say he posted a picture on his Instagram earlier in the day with lots and lots of D-R-U-G-S. I have to spell it out for YouTube's guidelines, basically. But did that send him on the downward spiral, spiral that led him to literally waiting being a criminal? Being a P-R-E-D? A? D-A-T-O-R? I'm sorry if I spelled it wrong. I mean, that is insane. I never thought he'd resort to that. But guess what, guys? There's almost a 20-minute video memor memorializing his ex-girlfriend that he loved so very much. You left him. So did that send him on the recent downward spiral? They say they got him. The police got him at a nearby building that he ran into. Witnesses saw this happen. The girl herself, of course, saw this happen. And then they got him where he ran into a building. So it obviously, in my opinion, seems like it really was him who did this. Even though I wouldn't think he'd ever do this. He always brags about being the macho, macho man he is. Having friends of the like of Dan Bolzerian, a multi-multi-millionaire with many, many businesses of his own. Vitaly with a very successful YouTube channel, which is getting far less views recently, did that maybe send him on the downward spiral as well? Did him losing his ex-girlfriend he loved so very much cause him to attack and find and get a female in a very deranged, barbaric way? A jogger? A jogging female? How could you? How dare you, Vitaly? It is sick. It is disgusting. No one deserved to be on the platform who is a criminal in such a manner. Very sad to say. I really, really greatly enjoyed his pranks over the years. I hope he comes back with an apology. I hope he comes back a new man. I hope he has a good excuse for something like this, even though there really is no good excuse. But let me know your thoughts down below. He's been released on $7,500 bail. Of course, he has the money for it. The guy's loaded. He has many views with over 20 million views or videos with over 20 million views on them. So once again, let me know your thoughts down below as to why in the world he's done such a thing. He straddled her. Then he took away her dignity, causing her a hospital ride and trauma for the rest of her life. Never in the world would I think that a YouTuber that so many looked up to would turn to such a horrible state of mind. As always, guys, I will keep you up to date, and thank you so much for watching. Guys, this poor girl screamed for help. <laughs> There's an obvious, like, trauma involved at this point, and PTSD even, probably. I'd like to start a GoFundMe if anybody's willing to make one, and they're legit. I'll pin it in the top in comment. This girl deserves counseling at this point. Uh, Vitalia has pretty much possibly destroyed her life, and, uh... 
I just hope this girl doesn't go into it a depression. Um, police report states that she screamed for her life, tried to get away for her life, tried to scratch him to get away and free herself for her life. And he was just too strong and overpowered her. And I just feel awful for her. Her boyfriend drove her to the hospital afterwards. And, uh, absolutely despicable. I also wanted to add that Keemstar wants an interview with him. Uh, he got out on bail, like I said, and he responded to Keem on Twitter, just said, hey, like a one word. He doesn't know what to say. He doesn't know how to defend his actions. He can't defend his actions. It's absolutely despicable. But as always, guys, I will keep you up to date.